I've got a random makeup haul to share with you guys today and I've got quite a few really pretty highlighters. Some of them are quite affordable as well. I'll go ahead and start with this model's own Sculpt and Glow Highlighting Powder. This is a new brand that Ulta is now carrying and it originated in the UK. So I picked up the shade Peach Pearl 02 and this has got a, let me show you the packaging model's own and there is your highlighter. Um, this has got that jelly baked type of a texture and it's really similar to the Dior Glowing Gardens highlighter that I like. It's not as intense and not as uh, creamy feeling as that one but for an affordable option this is um, pretty good. So that one is the uh, Peach Pearl 02 is which one that is and it is light enough for my uh, fair skin tone and there are a few other shades. I think there's well, I shouldn't say a few. There's one other other shade that I think they offer on Ulta.com. But let me swatch this next to the Dior. Here's the Dior Nude Air Luminizer in 002, which used to be the Glowing Gardens Limited Edition one. So you can see the Dior is a little bit more smooth, and the model's own has a slightly more pink tint to it. But um, I definitely think it's a nice, affordable option. Uh, in comparison to the Dior. And then I have a few from Makeup Revolution. This is their Skin Kiss. It's a newer one that they came out with. It's the Skin Kiss Highlighter and the shade I have is Ice Kiss. I want to say that there are three or four other shades. This was, I want to say this was like five bucks and there's a ton of product in there. It's 0.49 ounces which is almost a half ounce of highlighter. Um, this is light enough for my fair skin. I thought it was going to like shift into a gold but it's not. It's a, it's a pretty icy type of a highlighter and the texture of this really reminds me of those Jeffree Star Skin Frosts. I actually almost feel like this one's a bit nicer than the Skin Frost, but that the texture of it is reminds me of those. Um, you do have to buff it into the skin uh, a little bit more than some others, but it's not bad and it's it's pretty inexpensive as well and you get a load of product. It's, it's pretty. So this one is the Ice Kiss right there from Makeup Revolution. The brand Pacifica also came out with some highlighters. Um, this one is the Mineral Hydrating Highlighter and this one's Ice Baby too. Is, did I say the other one is called Ice Baby? Ice Kiss. A lot of ice going, <laughs> going on here. Um, there's 0.25 ounces of product in here. The packaging is a little cardboard. This st smells really strongly of coconut. Um, I've worn it once and it's an okay highlighter. It's light enough for my skin tone. There is a slightly pink uh, shift in this highlighter. Um, I feel like you kind of have to build it up a little bit more than others to get that uh, more lifted or super highlighting feel that a lot of highlighters are providing nowadays. But if you like a more subtle highlighter with a slightly sh slight shine and pink shift to it, um, I think you might really like it. I have another one from Makeup Revolution. This is the Vivid Shimmer Brick in the shade Pink Kiss. This was also relatively inexpensive. I think that I got the two products. It was like buy one, get one half off. So um, between the two, I don't even think they reached $10. But um, mixed all together, it's a little bit too deep for a highlight on top of my cheekbones. But if I focus my brush more on the top portion, I can get that uh, more lifted highlight look. But otherwise, I think this would be more like a... It would almost be a blush for me if I use this bottom half. Right here, and then if I use the top half, then it's more of a highlighty shade. But it's got a baked type of feel. The brand J Cat Beauty also came out with some highlighters. This is a baked highlighter. Highlighter. It's called You Glow Girl, and this is 101 White Goddess. I thought it was gonna be because because of the name. I thought it was gonna be more of a white, um, but this one shifts pretty gold. I do think that it is light enough for my skin tone, however, but there is a really strong uh, gold undertone to it. And this also comes in, I think there were four different shades. So when I'm going for a gold highlight, this is one I can uh, use without it like being too gold or too dark. But it, it has a slightly dry texture. Again, this is a baked highlighter. But I think it was only, I want to say it was like six bucks and there is 0.3 ounces of product. So there's quite a bit of product in there. And then the brand Dose of Colors also came out with new highlighters. I think there's five shades in total. I purchased two of them. They're the Supreme Glow highlighters is what the box packaging looks like. I don't think I'll ever get sick of highlighters coming out like 
ever. <laughs> um, but anyway, I purchased Ice U Baby. This is another or Icy U Baby. This is another icy one. Well, it's a good term for, for um, really bright highlighters, though. <laughs> so this one here is got a, well, it looks a little bit more gold in the pan, but when you swatch it, it doesn't have quite as gold of a shift as like that J-Cat one. But there is 0.25 ounces of product in here. And these two highlighters are what I've been wearing like all week. So you can see it doesn't have, it's got a slightly warm undertone, but it's not a lot. And I really like both of these highlighters. These are more traditional type of powder highlighters. They're not baked or gelé, but they're really pretty. And then the other one I got is Dream On, and this is the pink toned one. I love this one as well. It's a super pretty highlight. Both of these shades are light enough for my fair skin tone. And again, they have, I think there are three other shades that they have. But they're both really pretty highlighters. Colored Rain just released like six new highlighters as well. I placed an order and I got I got three of them. They're not here yet though. That was just yesterday. <laughs> and then not too long ago, Tarte did a 30% off sale on their website. So I went ahead and purchased the Spellbound Glow Rainbow Highlighter. And it comes in kind of Amazonian clay packaging with a little design on the front. And this here is removable. You can like pull it out of the pan because it's magnetized. Um, this one's okay. I feel like it shows texture on the skin a little bit easier. Swirled all together, it is night. It is light enough for my skin tone. Um, it's okay. I'm not as crazy about it as some highlighters. So I try to do it kind of sideways there and all together, but... So that one is the Tarte Spellbound Glow, and there's 0.2 ounces of product in that guy. It's been nothing but highlighters so far, and I'm, I'm not stopping there. <laughs> I went ahead and I purchased uh, BH Cosmetics' new highlighter palettes. They came out with two of them. One is called the Backlight or Blacklight Highlight palette, and this is more of the blue and green fun colors. I'm actually wearing the green highlighter out of this palette on the top of my cheekbones today. It's really pretty. Um, these are comparable to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, I think. Um, they don't have chunks of glitter in them though, and I feel like they might be ever so slightly less smooth than the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones, but for the price, I think these were, I, I always buy BH Cosmetics stuff when they're having a sale, either it's like 25% or sometimes they do 30 or more, so I'm, I got these for I think they were $16.99 if I'm not mistaken, which isn't a bad price. I think the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits are 40 but the other one is called the Spotlight Highlight Palette, and this one has got your bronzy shades and then some lighter shades, but let me go ahead and swatch the black light highlight palette so you've got a blue this one's green this one's gold and then you've got pretty much kind of like a white and then a purple pink shift and this one's more on the pink side of things so I'm wearing this green one today and these are light enough for my skin tone too There's the top three shades. Oh, the mirror there. And then the bottom three. I really like the strobe shade as well. So these guys right here I might mix with the strobe to get them a little bit lighter for the top of my cheeks. But for the price I think this is really nice. And this other one is called the Spotlight Highlight Palette, and this one is going to have your bronze tones. These ones are kind of rose gold. This one's got a slightly champagne to it, and then kind of a, a white, this ethereal shade. These two are definitely light enough for my skin tone. These ones right here it might be topper type of shades, but... There's the top row and then this bottom row one thing that I like about uh, BH Cosmetics newest releases um, they have stopped putting mineral oil in a bunch of their products and they've went with the more dimethicone type formula which I like uh, better they don't they're less likely to glaze over or like melt on your skin too 
So I think that's all my highlighters. <laughs> so let's move on to some blush. I purchased one of the Catrice Illuminating Blushes, and Catrice is a brand they sell at Ulta. I got the shade 040 Le Vie en Rose, and this is really pretty. This is the blush that I have on my cheeks today. It's like a it's like a nudie coral type of a color. It does have a sheen to it, but it's really pretty. There's a highlighter from Catrice as well with a pink tone to it that I really like also. So Catrice does some good uh, products there. Contouring Kit is another one that I really like. So that is La Vie en Rose from Catrice in 040. Then I went to Sally Beauty to get some hair stuff and I saw the Femme Couture Get Rosy Powder Blushes and I purchased three shades. I think there's five in total, but these have got that rose type of design in there that I believe was Milani the first one to kind of start that. But So I got three of them and these are nice blushes. This first one is Pinched Petals and all three of these have like a satin or slightly shimmery finish to them. So this one's Pinched Petals. That's the Catrice blush still on there. This next one is Sunset Rose, which is like a bronzy coral. Nice pigmentation on these. Oh, I always do that. <laughs> Get my swatches too close to each other. And the last one is Chic Bloom. This is the pink one. And it's not swatching on my hand with a dog on. So those are from Femme Couture and I purchased them at Sally Beauty. Long time ago I hauled some Zoeva brushes and those are some nice affordable makeup brushes. I have some that I really like. Um, but I've never tried their makeup. I've been tempted to but I just never pulled the trigger until they came out with that uh, spring collection. They called it uh, Sweet Glamour. So I purchased the eyeshadow palette and the face palette from that collection. I haven't worn either of those yet, but I also purchased this palette called Caramel Melange or Caramel Melange. And this here is really nice. And on the back it says superior pigmentation, easy to blend with vitamin E. Um, each eyeshadow is 0.05 ounces, so you're getting a pretty decent amount of product in there. There is no mirror, but these are what the colors look like. And I wore this palette three times this week, and I'm I'm pretty impressed with it. I'm I've got I think I've got four more palettes sitting in my bucket online right now, but I haven't I haven't purchased them yet. But I really like this guy. There was an all matte palette that recently came out that I wanted to get, but it was sold out at the time. But let me give you guys some swatches. It's just a really nice palette. And they blend really well. The pigmentation is really nice. This color here is beautiful. Super pretty. I was packing that this one on the lid. But let's do this one, couple, those two. Really nice palette though. I'm really impressed with the this eyeshadow palette. I haven't worn the other two yet, but I will swatch the shades, a couple of the shades in there. But um, if all of the palettes are like this guy, I definitely want to get a few more. I'm going to go ahead and just swatch all of the shades. So we did this guy and these ones. It's a nice, neutral, warm eyeshadow palette. And then here's the Sweet Glamour Blush Palette. And these colors are so right up my alley. I think the packaging is really pretty. I'm all for that pastel type of look. I just think it's really pretty. <laughs> so there's two cool, to cool toned pinks. These are smoother than all get out. Ex they feel extremely finely milled. Wow, geez. Because <laughs> I haven't swatched these yet. I haven't used this palette yet. So I'm like, wow. But ugh, these type of colors are so, I mean, they're just right up my alley. So that's the Sweet Glamour Blush Palette. That highlighter, the highlighter is really pretty as well. It's not super, super intense, but it's still, those blushes, wow. They are really, really smooth. You see how smooth they are? I should have like swatched and played with this beforehand. And I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> And then here's the eyeshadow palette, also from the Sweet uh, Glamour 
collection. This guy here is full of pastels and I love pretty pastels like this. Again, I haven't even used this yet, but let's give you guys some swatches. Yeah, these feel smooth just like the other shadows from that uh, caramel melange, melange palette. And oh wow, pastel colors are not easy to do, but those are pretty. Let me do this pink. This one kind of looks like that blush. Um, so that is the eyeshadow palette from the Sweet Glamour collection full of pastel shades. I need to like hurry up and bust this out. Some of these colors like this, um, this like, it's a well, it's a baby blue pulling a little bit turquoise. would be so pretty on the lid. With the BH Cosmetics order I placed, I also got the new Carly Bible palette. And this is the Deluxe Edition. I really liked the um, first palette that she came out with with BH Cosmetics. I think it was with a uh, coupon from Ulta. I got it for like 12 bucks, And it was really, it's really worth the money. It was really nice. Again, um, BH Cosmetics, like this palette here, in its eyeshadows and face products, it's not doesn't have mineral oil in it, and I really like the the newer formula that BH Cosmetics has come out with because I've purchased stuff from them in the past and I wasn't really crazy about it. But this newer stuff is really pretty. Um, these eyeshadows are what I have on my eyes today, and this shade of pink right here is really really beautiful. But they're nicely pigmented and they blend really nice as well. So I got this guy through the crease, and then I buffed out with I think this color right here and this one underneath the brow but let me swatch this pink for you guys it is what this is what i did i say that already <laughs> this is what i have on my eyes today this color is really really pretty but let me swatch a few more all three of these colors are gorgeous and I think with the sale, I got this for around $16 as well, if I'm not mistaken, because I think they're selling them for $19.99 or something. But some pretty highlighters in here. I should be wiping my hands off fully, but I'm not. <laughs> And today is the first time that I use this palette, and again, it kind of gives me those same feels as the first one that she came out with, and I really like it, especially um, for as much product and different things you get. These two highlighters for me are stunning uh, colors for my cheekbones, and then you got two, you know, warmer bronzy ones for a deeper skin tone. Um, and then these two guys right here are kind of in the middle, but you can use them as eyeshadows as well, and also on the face, and I just think it's a really nice, affordable eyeshadow palette. And then lastly here, I did purchase one more of the Lorac and Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, what are these? The double-ended, uh, it's a lip gloss and lipstick. I know there was a name for them. But the shade that I got is in Trident. This is the other nude shade. So you have a gloss on one end and then your lipstick right here. And it's a nude that pulls a slight peach color. And I do like the formulation of the lipsticks on these guys. It has a nice uh, sweet scent to it, which I really like. And then let's do this gloss color. So there's the gloss. Should I put a little bit over the lipstick here? So that is Trident from the Larocan Pirates of the Caribbean collection. And that's the end of my haul for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.